Hello everybody. Uh, we continue reading the book There was no such a name on the list by Boris Vasilyev, part 40. To Germany, said the elderly captain, to the Germans, uh, we send grain day and night. And how do you order to understand that? I don't know, said Kolya, confused. We have an agreement with Germany. Exactly, the captain immediately agreed. You are thinking absolutely right, com co comrade lieutenant. Following the freight train, they started moving as well, and they drove faster and faster. Stops were shortened, the conductors didn't advise to leave the cars, and from the whole road, Kolya remembered only one station, Zhavinka. Next was Brest. The railway station in Brest turned out to be wooden, and there were so many people in it that Kolya got confused. The easier way was, of course, to ask how to find the military unit he needed, but for the reasons of secrecy, Kolya trusted the official persons only, and therefore he was in the long queue for an hour to the duty assistant commandant. To the fortress, the assistant said, glancing at his travel order. Go straight uh, along Kashtanovaya Street and you'll be right there. Kolya got out of the queue and suddenly felt such a fierce hunger that instead of going along Kashtanova Street to the fortress, he began to search for the dining room. But there were no dining rooms around and after going up and down the street, he went to the station, to the station restaurant. And he just wanted to enter as the door swung open and a stocky build lieutenant came out. Well, thank you very much for being with me. All the best. See you again. Goodbye.